all we do comes from some place. And yet, we add the uniqueness, the, the creativity of ourselves in it and express it new in this moment. Not negating where it came from, but honoring it. Being open and present in each moment. What a beautiful experience. What a beautiful journey. A huge part of our human experience is to allow what forms are wanting to die, to die. And be open to what forms are wanting to be born through us. But yet on the other side of that, it could feel like a huge darkness, the unknown. I've had a deep love for the Hawaiian culture my whole life. I've known it's my truth, but I knew that the traditional ways, there's a modern ancient way of being, there's an ancient ancient way of being, and then there's beyond. And then our, that's really our interpretation of these things, of these eras, which how true is that? I've gone down that rabbit hole. And I was told by elders, what are you doing? Stop doing that. Where are you going? I'm like, I don't know, I need to find myself. Well, it's not there. You need to figure out what's yours to do. You were born and raised the way you were for some reason. Your name is Ke'ahi for some reason. I'm like, so what does that mean? They're like, I don't know. I'm like, great, thanks. Talk about blackness. These elders that know this history, know the culture, speak fluent Hawaiian, do all this stuff, don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Who do I go to? Blackness. But in my, in my meetings, there are various people some are open to what I'm doing here at Sunrise Ranch and Emissaries of Divine Light. Uh, I wear many hats and I'm very proud and excited to share these things, but some part of me was leery to share these things with them because there was judgment. I said, I'm starting a hula ministry with beautiful people that want to learn. Some of them are here. Learn what we have, as a culture, the Hawaiian culture, have to offer to the world of sacredness. You're a kumu? I'm like, kumu is a teacher. And when you say it like that, that means you have had years and years of strenuous education and training and testing and more testing and then testing. No, I haven't. But I am a teacher. I am a vessel, as we all are. So there's this huge question in my, in my being that's like, am I wrong to bring the Hawaiian culture the way I know it? Do I know it in my heart through me today because I don't know the traditional ways? Or I haven't done it traditionally? It's not that I want to change things. It's I know I have something new to bring. And to be proud of that, 